Okay, so we're checking out something a little different today. This is Mad Skills Motocross 2. Now, I don't know. I didn't play Mad Skills Motocross the original, so I don't really know much about the game. We're pretty noob. This is basically my first ever try in it. I did one race before, or two races, I don't even remember, uh, before actually putting this video together. And I'm using my wife's phone, which is an iPhone, so thank you, wife, for letting me use that so we could do this video. I've been asked by several people to check this game out. I know a while ago we did 2XL Supercross on the mobile, the mobile phone, and uh, that was a really fun game. It kind of reminded me of like Motocross Madness. And I know when I was looking at this game, I thought it was kind of cartoony, and I didn't really know how much fun I was gonna have with it, even though I'm the guy that's always like, variety, variety, variety. I don't really care if it's a cartoony game or if it's realistic, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just a motocross enthusiast, so I like all games. But this one, I don't know. It just never, I didn't think much about it. But it is free. I, I think you can pay money. I don't know if you can buy it or if you get extra stuff, but there are ads in it. And I'm assuming if you pay money or whatever it would be, those ads wouldn't be there. Like after a few races, a commercial cut in or an ad, just like on YouTube basically when ads are on videos and stuff like that. It's not really that annoying. They're really short. It's no big deal. And how can you complain for something that's free? The dude needs money. I mean, he developed this game and he, he definitely deserves it. And I know this is kind of off topic, but before we get too much farther into the game, I know this video is probably going up pretty late. And I had a comment from someone and I understand where they're coming from. They said they, they really love the videos, but they need to get uploaded sooner. And I'm trying. I promise you guys, I am trying to make this all work. I'm trying to upload Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at the moment. And it's it's really difficult, especially when I'm trying to play so many different games, learn a bunch of different games. It's hard for me to find time. I really can only record like mid to late afternoon. That's like the only time that it really works for me to do that every day. And so I'll record the video, think of what I'm gonna play, record the video, unless someone suggested something in the comments, record the video, edit the video, render the video, do the thumbnails, stuff like that. So it's done, okay? It's, it's practically ready for upload. But my wife has a channel as well that we stream on, and we stream there a lot in the evening to nighttime. And then usually I upload after that. So as far as my schedule goes, like I said, usually these videos I'm doing them mid to late afternoon. Yeah, I don't know, in between, anywhere between three to five is when I'm a lot of times recording this stuff. And then it takes time to put it together. And I'm not uploading it until we get done streaming. And sometimes we don't get done streaming until really, really late on her channel. So it's tough. It's really tough to get them up. I'm trying to think of a way of getting it up, uploaded before the live stream. So when that happens, I'll put a comment or pin a comment to the top to let you know that uh, this will try to be the upload time. But, you know, if you have notifications turned on, you should get a notification. And then when you wake up or whatever, whenever you have time, you can watch the video. But I'm sorry. To that guy, I forget who it was, but sorry that I can't. I'm trying, man, I'm trying. At least I'm trying to get videos out every day before I had such a wonky upload schedule. But back to this game, kind of wanted to get that out of there. It's it's really fun, it's really fun. And I, I felt like when I first saw it that it was gonna be one of those games that kind of, you know, appealed to a younger crowd. And I'm not exactly young. I mean, some people would say I'm young, some people would say I'm old. Depends on how old you are or how young you are. But it, it's actually really, really fun. I think I enjoy this game more than 2XL Supercross. And 2XL Supercross, again, reminds me of like Motocross Madness slash, well, not really slash anything, just kind of Motocross Madness. And it's fun, but that game's harder to play. You know what I mean? Like the way you use the phone and can tilt the phone and, <clears throat> excuse me, it just kind of, it's more awkward to play. This game being like a side-scrolling kind of platformer type game, it's so easy. You know, you have your your throttle and your brake there. You can see that, obviously. And then you have where you can move them forward and backwards. And I'm not good at the game. I'm sure there's tons of little tricks you can, you can learn. And I bet people that have this game will bombard the comments telling me what I need to do. And that's awesome because uh, I don't know anything. But it's a game that I, I feel like... 2XL is a game that if I'm on the on the airplane or something, maybe I'd use that to kill some time. This one actually is fun enough that I feel like I want to play it, even if I'm not just trying to kill time doing something. And we suffer on some of these some of these tracks. I know one I get stuck going up a hill. Now I actually had more footage, but I kind of cut it down because the video would have been super long, and 
Since I'm doing a post commentary, eventually I would have uh, run out of things to do. But when we were searching for these games, there's actually a lot of mobile games that uh, that are out there. This being one of the better ones. I'm curious if you have suggestions of other mobile games that you'd like to see played. Let me know. Even if it costs money, it doesn't matter too much to me. If it does, I'll I'll pick it up probably. Now it is nice that this one's free because if it would have been money, I don't know if I would have bought it. I was on the fence. Basically because I thought it was going to cost money and I didn't feel like it was something that I would see myself playing. But now knowing what I know, it's it's pretty good stuff. It's pretty good stuff. I think you can go online and race against people. I believe you can race against your ghost and then you can do the career, which is what we're doing right now. And uh, go from there. We're also on like a, I don't know, it looks like a 70s, like a 1970s motocross bike maybe early 80s and I think maybe it happened already because I wasn't really paying attention but you do upgrade your bikes and then you can equip it then or you can wait and I don't know if that makes a difference is it faster or is it better or does it just look different there you go new bike unlocked so I don't see any reason not to equip it looks like we're getting maybe we had like a 70s and now we're getting to the late 70s early 80s kind of looks like it Two stroke? Is it we two? Are we two stroke? Yes. Look at that expansion chamber. Have you ever heard that? I bet some of you younger guys haven't heard that before. Expansion chamber, not pipe. Expansion chamber. Long and thin don't make you win. Short and fat's where it's at. You ever heard that before? I bet some of you older guys, maybe if you're watching this, have heard that before. A little saying. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm also not really sure how the career works. It might just be like a mix of supercross and motocross. We kind of got both, and I like them about equal. Uh, I think the Nationals or motocross part, the outdoors is a little more fun because they feel like the tracks are a, a bit longer and you can hit some really big lines. And it's just like any other game, man. It's just like anything on console. Oh my gosh, I'm getting frustrated watching myself. Uh, sorry I'm so new. But it's just like any other game. If you get a good flow and you get the really smooth lines on console or PC, MXGP, Supercross, MX vs ATV Reflex, whatever it may be, it's just like that. Getting that big, smooth, flowy line, it feels just as awesome in this game. It really does. It's, it's, I don't know, it's really weird. Now when you do, I think somewhere, maybe, maybe I cut it out of the video, I don't remember anymore, but I do get stuck like going up a hill. So when you get stuck and the reset time from when you crash takes a while, it really does take a while. And when you, when you crash, you're like done. I'm assuming in like multiplayer, if you crash, you're done. There's no way you're coming back from it unless everybody else crashes too because it takes so... I don't know if it takes so long to get going, but like see there, we couldn't even get up top, then I crashed again and you're just like fighting it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It was kind of a kind of a struggle on this one. It looks like, I'm looking at the video, it looks like we're going to hit this track again. I don't know if I actually beat this one. I don't know if I actually beat this one. Maybe I do. We'll find out. But there's a track after this one that was a struggle for me. I don't even know how much we lost by. And there's a little rocket thing there that has four. I'm not really sure what that is. I'm assuming that's some kind of a speed boost. But you only have four. Is that like all time? Or is that per race you have four? I don't know. I'll have to play it more or read the comments and see what you guys say. Because I'm sure there's a bunch of you that play this. But going back to me thinking that it was a little cartoony and not something that really appealed to me. I think like the simulator games appeal to the older crowd. I mean, not necessarily. I'm sure there's a young crowd that plays it too, but I feel like like MX Sim, maybe not so much MX bikes, but MX Simulator in particular applies to like the hardcore motocross kids or an older. I don't know what I'm saying by older, but just not really, really young crowd. And then games like this, I feel like appeal to a, a much younger crowd. But I think this game is fun for me, and I fit into a bit of the older crowd. So if you play this game, I'm curious how old you are just to see, you know, what it appeals to. Is it a game that appeals to everybody, or is it a game that's going more towards a younger crowd? Because I think it's fun, okay? And I'm older. I'm older than a lot of you that probably watch the videos, and I think it's a good game. I think it's definitely worth giving it a download. And it's free, man. It's free. You can't... You're, you're not losing anything by... Uh, by downloading it but this I believe is the last race we're about to the end of the video and I don't know just thanks so much for the support you guys have been dropping lately the last support on that MX bikes video it looks like we might be playing that we might be picking up the full game uh, it's fun enough for me and I think it looks like you guys want to see more of it and if you have suggestions for other mobile games make sure to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to get to those and if you have any tips for this 
let me know and I will attempt that if we do another video. But thank you so much for the support on the channel lately and until the next video, take it easy.